hello friends welcome back in this tutorial we will learn how we can solve this uh, zero one knapsack problem by branch and bound technique now see this uh, here there are four items four items are given to us along with their weights and value right now there is a knapsack also given to us its capacity is 10 right so what we have to do we have to fill this knapsack with uh, these uh, items in such a way that uh, the weight of the items does not exceed the capacity of knapsack and the value inside the knapsack should be maximum right so to solve this problem what uh, we need to do first uh, we will arrange these items in the decreasing order of their value per weight ratio now see this item number one right its uh, weight is 4 and value is 40 dollar so its value per weight ratio is 10 right so in this way we will find the value per weight ratio of all the four items and we will arrange them in decreasing order right here i have arranged them in decreasing order according to their value per weight ratio right so first of all what we need to do we need to find out their upper bound right so what is the upper bound To find upper bound, we will assume that uh, this knapsack is filled with the, that item whose value per weight ratio is maximum, right? So here the capacity of uh, this uh, knapsack is 10, right? So this uh, item number 1, it is the most valuable item, its value per weight ratio is 10, right? So we assume that this uh, knapsack is filled with this item number 1 completely. So what will happen if it is filled with this item number one then the value inside the knapsack would be hundred dollar right so what is the upper bound upper bound is hundred dollar what does it mean that whatever be the solution of uh, this problem right value inside the knapsack cannot exceed hundred dollar right because here we have assumed that knapsack is filled with most valuable item right so in this case uh, the value which we have found when it is filled with most valuable item it is hundred dollar so whatever the case is the <coughs> whatever the solution of this problem is the value inside the knapsack can never exceed hundred dollar right now we will make the state space tree so here we have arranged the items in decreasing or uh, order of their value per weight ratio because we will consider these item in this order right so first we will consider the item number one item then item number two item number three and then item number four when we will make this state space tree right so first we will make a root node of a state space tree now the upper bound is hundred dollar right and what is the capacity of knapsack 10 and value inside the knapsack is 0 because we have not put any item till now so now we have two options right because uh, first we will consider the item number one we will consider the items in this order so one option is that we will include the item number one in knapsack another is we don't include the item number one in the knapsack if we include the item number one in the knapsack then weight of uh, this item number one is four right so in this case uh, uh, what happened the remaining uh, knapsack capacity will be six right remaining knapsack capacity is six and value inside the knapsack will be this forty dollar and then in this case what will be the upper bound right now we will assume that uh, whatever the remaining capacity of knapsack is it is filled with item number two right because it is the among these remaining items two three and four it is the only item whose value per weight is maximum that is six so <coughs> now uh, remaining capacity is six we assume that this uh, six 
remaining capacity it is filled with item number two right so in this case the more value which we can put inside is 6 into 6 36 right already the value inside is 40 so in this case upper bound will be 76 right so without item number one right if we don't include then what will happen capacity of knapsack will remain 10 value inside it will be 0 and what will be the upper bound for upper bound we will assume that the knapsack is filled with most valuable remaining item so most valuable remaining item is this item number 2 and its value per weight ratio is 6 so it is filled with item number 2 so in this case upper bound will be 10 into 6 that is 60 dollar right now <clears throat> among these two nodes we will find the node which is most promising right so this node its upper bound is more than the other nodes right its upper bound is 76 so we will extend this node right now we will consider this item number two right so one option is with item number two another is without item number two right now the remaining capacity of knapsack is six right but uh, the weight of item number two is seven so we cannot include item number two inside the knapsack right so it is not possible but if we don't include item number two in the knapsack then what happened what is the value inside the knapsack value is forty dollar right and uh, remaining capacity of knapsack is also six and what is the upper bound upper bound is that uh, we, that uh, remaining uh, this uh, capacity is filled with most valuable available item now only three available item number three and four so most valuable item is item number three so remaining capacity is six so we assume that uh, remaining whatever the capacity is it is filled with item number three so in this case the value more which we can put is 6 into 5 30 dollar so in this case the upper bound will be 30 plus already there are 40 dollar value inside the knapsack so it will, upper bound will be 70 dollar right so among these uh, non terminating nodes there are two non terminating nodes this is the most promising node because its uh, upper bound is maximum among all uh, non terminating nodes right so we will extend this node so again we have two options one is we include item number three and another one is we don't include item number three so if we include item number three then what will happen the weight of item number three is five right so if we include it then the remaining capacity of knapsack will be one and uh, the value inside the knapsack will be 40 plus value of item number three value of item number three is 25 it will be so value inside will be 65 dollar so remaining capacity is one so what will be the upper bound the upper bound uh, is that uh, to find upper bound we will assume that this remaining capacity is filled with most valuable remaining item so after this only one item is remaining that is item number four right its value per weight ratio is four so if we include so if the remaining capacity is filled with uh, this value right to find upper bound then what will happen upper bound will be 65 plus 4 that is 69 now <coughs> without item 3 now if we don't include item number 3 in knapsack then the remaining capacity of knapsack will be 6 and the value inside the knapsack will be 40 dollar and to find the upper bound we will assume that whatever the remaining capacity is it will be filled with most valuable item 
which is uh, remaining now now only one item is remaining right that is item number four its value per weight ratio is four so we will assume that whatever the remaining capacity is that is six it is filled with item number four so six into four is twenty four and already forty dollar is there inside the knapsack so the upper bound is forty plus twenty four that is sixty four dollar right now among these three terminating nodes this one this one and this one this node is most promising because its upper bound is maximum among these three nodes its upper bound is sixty nine dollar upper bound of this node is sixty dollar and upper bound of this node is sixty four dollar so we will extend this node now we have only one item remaining that is item number four its weight is three right so we have two option either to include item number four or not to include item number four uh, now see in this node the remaining capacity of knapsack is one but the weight of item number four is three so we cannot put item number four in this uh, knapsack right so if we don't uh, include item number four or if we don't put item number four in the knapsack then the value inside the knapsack will be sixty-five dollar, right? Now, here, the, the uh, now this uh, node we have. Now after that we do not have any item, right? So this node will stop here. It will terminate here. Now we have only these two non-terminating nodes, this one and this one, right? In uh, both of these nodes, in this node uh, upper bound is sixty dollar. In uh, this uh, upper bound is sixty four dollar. So in uh, there is no non terminating node whose upper bound is more than sixty five dollar. So there is no node non terminating which promise uh, that uh, the value inside the knapsack would be more than sixty five dollar. So we will terminate this tree here, right? Now what items will be included? Start from the root node. First, we will include item number one, right? Then, we will not include item number two. Then, we will include item number three. Then, we don't include item number four. So, we will include two items: item number one and item number three, right? So, the solution is item number one and item number three, right? and the maximum value inside the knapsack will be $65.